Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Trains 22 purchase options. Essentially, we're going to be looking at whether you should purchase, subscribe or give it a miss. And actually, there's a fourth option, wait. And we'll discuss that one later. Now, if you're looking for a video describing what Trains is or what you get isn't it. But I've got a whole playlist of Trains videos and one of them will probably suit your needs. If you go to youtube.com forward slash blue wizard, head down the page and we have a whole playlist. So we've got the beta first look. It's the same pretty much as the release version. We have the uh, surveyor. We have two videos on the surveyor. The new 2.0 surveyor, which is only available if you subscribe. I have to say at this point. And actually that's why I say wait, because trains, well, in N3V has a history. Well, certainly with trains 19, they released the game a year later, they have a platinum version. I suspect at Christmas we're going to be seeing Surveyor 2.0 in a platinum version, platinum version of Trains 22. Now, whether you're looking to purchase or whether you're to, looking to subscribe, there are two places you can do this. You can either do it on the actual website themself, itself, and for there you'd simply go to trainsportal.com if you want to go to the Trains website, click hover on there and click on there, then you get to uh, this page. And there are your purchase options. But there are some more. We'll talk about those in a minute. The other option would be to go to um, Steam. You can purchase it on Steam. Now, I don't believe you could on Trains 19, but on Trains 22, you can actually purchase the game. And the price, in dollars at least, is that the same, 69.99. Uh, See, is that the same as on the actual Trains website? And you can subscribe as well. Now they give you the two options, which is the Trains Plus and the Trains Gold. It's exactly the same as on their website. What you're going to notice for the yearly, it's 69, well the Trains Plus is 69.49 and the Gold is 129.49, whereas it's not 49, it's 99 here. So it's $50, uh, 50 cents more. Now, the monthly price is exactly the same, but the yearly price is different, just slightly. This could be because if you're not in the USA, you're going to be buying a local currency. Now, if you're buying on the train's website, you're always buying on dollars, in dollars. At the top of the page, you do have an option to switch currency. But all that does on some pages, and you can see it's not this one, it changes the price to the local currency, whatever currency you just chose. But at the checkout, you're still buying in, in dollars. So that, that price you're seeing is that converted price. Just don't pay any attention to it because that whatever system they're using, it doesn't connect to their checkout and the checkout will be different. For instance, if you're paying with PayPal, PayPal will change it over, convert it from like for me, it'd be pounds to dollars and their conversion rate will be different than this website. So there will be differences. However, on Steam website, you will actually be buying at uh, the local rate. So for instance, uh, 69.99 becomes 54.99 in that uh, UK pounds. Again, the subscription like the $7.99 becomes um, £5.79. Now you actually, well, it says it here, at least that you would be paid you'd be paying five pounds six nine per month now i haven't tried this but i presume that's correct because i know certainly when you purchase you purchase in your local currency so my presumption is that these will these subscriptions will be exactly the same there is another consideration as well i don't think this would be for the subscription but certainly on the uh, the purchase on steam you can refund there's a certain amount of gameplay hours you can actually refund in. And I have checked, someone didn't like the game and says, glad I got my money back. So someone has actually got a refund via um, Steam. But on the actual website, refunds, as per train store refund policy, no refunds will be given on digital download software. So if you purchase here, you don't get a refund if you don't like it. Now, the other thing I said, there are some other um, options here. Now, as with um, 
Steam, they give you the monthly option. If you actually click on here, actually, if you look at bottom left right now, if you look down here, when I look there, it just says memberships, memberships. Actually, it doesn't, you don't purchase straight away. What you do is end up going to this page and then you can choose the actual membership. So all this is a sales advertise page, really. So these are the uh, yearlies again. So what you're looking at is the trains plus and the trains gold here. Now you get to go have yearly or you can take it monthly. Now this is why I know that on Steam, the price is exactly the same, $7.99, $14.99 and $7.99, $14.99. So there's no physical difference. As I say, if you want stability and if you're not in the USA, it's probably better to take a subscription if you want to go that route via Steam. Because I'm not entirely, I would imagine, well, I know the subscription's going to be in dollars. So if you, it would be converted on a month to month basis. Now, what we should discuss next is whether you should buy or whether you should rent. I think what it really comes down to. Well, certainly for me, it's whether you want to make your own routes or whether you want to drive other people's routes. If you want to make your own route, it's either going to be purchase or it's going to be the Trains Plus because you're only going to need the game and you're going to want um, access to the download uh, station. Now, if you purchase, you have to buy access separately to the download station. But if you uh, if you rent it, basically, you get access thrown in now you also get that access on uh, the the gold membership as well um if you do purchase it and you want to rent it separately there are two options again if you go into here for 3.99 a month dollars again you get your first class ticket but you don't have to do that you can go to the store and if you look up here first class ticket 365 days you can just buy it whenever you want and uh, it's it's the same price for the yearly if I click on yearly 3.34.69 the monthly low on there is is dearer it's 488 on it let's go off there it's 599 USD so compared to the uh, 399 but if you're going to purchase it, I would say get a year, $34.99, $34.69. But unlike subscription, which you have to take there and then, if you were to purchase it here, you get to activate it whenever you want. Now, why is that a big thing? Because sometimes this goes on sale. Now, I actually uh, bought it. Where is it? There we are. This one for a whole year for $20. Now $20 is obviously cheaper than um, $34.69. I didn't have to use it then because I still had some, so I, you can stack them. You can just activate it whenever you want, the first class ticket. So you don't have to, if you purchase it now, you don't have to use it now. Unlike the subscription, you have to actually, you use it as soon as you actually purchase it. Now, if you want a, a drive route, you would be better, probably better to actually get a gold uh, membership. Now, once again, as we said, you can either get it yearly or monthly. For monthly, it is uh, $40.99 or it's, um, yeah, it's $49.99 there as well. So, yeah, it doesn't matter where you buy it from. Now, what you get is access to all of the... Um, the, uh, the, um, the routes on the train store, except there are some, it doesn't say on here, there is a condition, new content, uh, look at the bottom, it says no, C content creators retain the right to withhold access to newly released content for three months. So if something appears on, the, on there, it may not appear, you may not get access to it for three months. So that's up to the content creator. Remember the people which sell on here, this is not necessarily, not necessarily trains themselves selling on the actual store. Now currently I've, I've done an all DLC route compared with the trains 90. There's no compatibility for trains 22 on here yet. And what it brings up is all these. 
So it looks like one of Forty's 40 routes which are drivable at the moment. Now I don't know if every one of these are going to be part of the subscription because they might be less than three months old, but that's what's on here at the moment. But if you look at the cost of these though, $40, $40, $40, you can buy it and it's yours forever. But the thing is, with a Roo, are you going to want to keep driving it? Now there is, a, there is another option. You could purchase the game and then you take out a different subscription. They've got this silver, which they don't ever mention, but it's 10 quid a month or it's 86, 89 for the year where you don't get the game but you get a first class ticket and you get all the DLC. That's exactly the same as the gold. But then the game's yours. Maybe that's an option. But there is one other consideration. Pre-release, not that one, that's not it. Trains Plus updates. Now what does this mean? This is the one which upsets me the most. The, the thing which pisses me off and I, really annoys me. And I think is absolutely wrong. If you, t if you subscribe to the game, you get updates as they're created. If you purchase the game, you get updates as bundles, or they call them service updates. Now these updates, are, they, they put multiple updates together and into one downloadable file. Now you'd, as a result, you don't get these bundled updates there and then, you can, these can be months and months later. So. Someone on Trains Plus might actually get an update straight away. So let's say something's wrong with the game. But if you've, got, if you've bought the game, you might have to wait three, four, five, six months before the service update comes out and you actually get, up, you get access to that. This happened to me in Trains 19. They did an update and that bought something. It's, it's not external, it's something actually within the game. It didn't work any longer. And I immediately went to them and said, look, this doesn't work anymore. They very quickly came back to me and said, okay, we fixed it. I did not have access to that fix straight away. That was really annoying. I had to wait to the next service update. That was months. I think it was like six months later. And I just think that is wrong. If you are paying $70 for a game and they bought something up on an update and then they should immediately, if they once once they find out about it, actually update the game to actually make it work again. But they didn't. But yes, that is something to consider. Now, again, why do I say wait? Because if we click on my start here, Trains Railroad Simulator 2019, that came out a few years back in 2019. Actually, it was late 2018. Now, around a year later at Christmas, they brought out the Platinum version. Now, that brought extra options. For instance, you could pause the game and start the game in um, the Surveyor mode, and you could click one click between Surveyor and Play mode to see what you're doing. Now, to be honest, that's a terrible feature. Don't ever, ever use that feature. Not on this, not, not if you're building, if you're building a route, actually, it's okay. If you're building a session, you're, you, you can completely balk your session. If if you're on Surveyor and you go to the game and try it, great, no problem. But if you go back and then start editing again, if you've played that session slightly, everything's in the wrong place. So let's say your train starts off in Station A, you've watched it go to Station B, and then you go back to the session again, That's, that train is still in Station B. Now you can click Reset Session with it as a button within there, within surveyor but it doesn't move everything back it just resets the actual session to the begin again your train or trains plural if you have a large route will all be in the wrong place and so what you have to do you go from the surveyor you can one click into the game test it but then you have to completely go out just like the original which you have to do in the original anyway and then go back into session don't ever go straight back into your session anyway the point really was that they added extra features onto the platinum and actually took a few away from the, the original as well. There were some keys which you could move about on to save you having to use the mouse. They took that away because on the platinum, again, they added a, some new ways to move about and new ways to actually look at the game. 
Um, so yes, they, the Platinum, about a year later, they added more stuff in. I suspect, for instance, with a Surveyor 2.0, I highly suspect that this will be on the Platinum version at some point in the future. I, I highly suspect that's going to be the case because at Christmas, they're going to want to make some money and uh, this is a great way of doing it, adding it into another purchase. If you already purchased the game, they probably will give you some money off the uh, update. Um, but you'll still be paying more. You, but at least, I suppose, like I do, you have, have access to both games, the original and the Platinum. At the moment, I've also got the normal Trains 22 and I've got the Trains Plus installed as well. Um, I don't see many differences between the two apart from the Surveyor at the moment. The build numbers are different. Okay, so that's the, that's 17655. And that's 17669. They're the differences. So this is an update. This is what I was saying earlier. If you've got Trains Plus, you'll get updates much quicker than you do on the normal Trains uh, 22. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to purchase, are you going to rent it, or are you going to give the game a miss? If you're a creator and have Trains 19 already, I'm not so sure you need to purchase this, if I'm honest. It's only a cumulative update, as far as I can see. If you're someone who likes to play routes, if you, if you like to drive routes, it comes with four new routes. Is that worth $70 for you um, on a purchase? I'm not so sure if it is, but maybe it is. If you think that uh, on their site some of the per some of the routes are forty dollars each, then maybe that does cover it. Possibly, I'm, I'm. The thing is about driving. I think there are better games for driving than trains. I don't think trains does it very well. You either get simple controls, you get the hard controls, and if you got the hard controls, you can actually use the the controls on most of the locos directly, which means you can switch the hard controls off and just use the controls on the loco. They are pretty much your three options. Um, whereas a lot of other games have more options and basically your score at the end is based on what of these options, you know, how hard you're actually creating it for yourself. Um, Training Things World does that, I know. Um, Diesel Rail Car Simulator, which is a very nice little game, which I really enjoy, which you'll see a lot on the channel, does that. So the more helpers you've got on, the lower your top score can be. You can't get the top score if you put on a helper. But on this, it doesn't seem to matter what control system, if you use simple or the hard, or if you actually switch all the everything off and just, you, just use the controls in the actual loco. On the, the route I played the other day, I got one star for the first station, two stars for the second station, and when on the third station was the end station, another two stars, that's the five stars. I don't see any difference between that. I basically got full score. And it's just that silly five star system. You should get a score and it should be based on what you what what features you actually got switched on, what helpers you got switched on and off. But Trains isn't able to do that, and that degrades the experience as far as I'm concerned. But yes, yeah, so... It comes down really to whether you want to create routes or drive routes and which option is best for you. Anyway, yes, that's going to be it. Hopefully the video has been useful in some sort of formal manner. Uh, it's been me rambling on about uh, buy or not to buy. Yes, that's the question. But uh, that is going to be it. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and press that ding it on bell button. You know what it does. See you next time. Bye-bye.